I am responding to a video on YouTube entitled Jehovah's Witness Founder Charles Russell, Occultist. This video may be found on the channel Happily Surviving the Stasi. The video shows parts of one of my sites related to Charles Taz Russell, but mistakes my site as being a Jehovah's Witnesses defense site. I am the owner of the Restoration Light sites which are mentioned in the video. My sites are not designed to support the Jehovah's Witnesses. If one takes the time to actually read and comprehend what is being said, one would know that. Charles Taz Russell was never a member of the Jehovah's Witnesses. There was no Jehovah's Witnesses organization while Russell was alive. The earliest Jehovah's Witnesses did not exist until after Russell died. On my website, see the links to some of my related research on the resource page Russell and the JWS. Charles Taz Russell did not believe in such an organization that Rutherford created after Russell died. On my website, I have links to some of my related research on the authority and organization resource page. Charles Taz Russell did not believe in the kind of message that the Jehovah's Witnesses present. Charles Taz Russell was definitely not the founder of that in which he did not believe, and which he preached against. Russell never claimed to be the Laodicean messenger. Russell's original gravestone was in keeping with his stated wishes. It was rather plain, and did not have Laodicean messenger inscribed on it. Rutherford, however, had the original gravestone removed, and had it replaced with the one that still exists there to this day. There is no evidence in anything Russell wrote that indicates that he had any desire for a pyramid monument to be constructed in the Rosemont Cemetery. It was Rutherford, not Russell, who authorized the construction of that monument. The stated purpose was, not to honor Russell, but the Watchtower Society. For links to some of my related research and that of others also, on my website, see the resource page Russell's Gravestone. While I could not understand what was actually stated in the video regarding the Illuminati, evidently it is being claimed that Russell was a member of, or supportive of, the Illuminati. Russell, of course, had nothing at all to do with any organization called the Illuminati, nor does Rutherford's Pyramid Monument have anything to do with such. Charles Taz Russell never claimed to not believe that Christ died on a cross. Rutherford evidently wanted his Jehonadab followers to not use the cross and crown symbol, thus this may be behind his adoption of the idea that Jesus did not die on a cross, and that the cross was a pagan symbol. There is, however, actually nothing wrong with Russell's usage of the biblical cross and crown imagery. On my site, one can find links to some of my related research on the cross and crown resource page. Again, I could not understand exactly what was said, but I did catch end of the world, dates, and Armageddon. Russell was not predicting the end of the world for 1914, or any other date. His view of Armageddon was totally different from that of the Jehovah's Witnesses. From 1904 onward, Russell was expecting the time of trouble to begin in 1914. He died in 1916, still with the belief that the time of trouble had begun in 1914. I also believe that the time of trouble did begin in 1914, and that it may last for several more decades before the present heavens and earth pass away. On my site mentioned before, one can find more of my research related to Russell, 1914. And many of the false claims being made about Russell and 1914. I am not sure what was said about hell, but I believe that brother Russell was basically correct about what the Bible hell is, although I do not agree with every detail of his application of various scriptures. See the resource page, Hell, Sheol, Hades, Gehenna, Lake of Fire on my website mentioned. Again, something is being said about speakers of Hebrew and Greek today. I assume that this is thought to be speakers of the Hebrew and Greek of the Bible? If so, I am not sure what the point is. Nevertheless, 
no one on earth today actually speaks biblical Hebrew or biblical Greek. No one on earth today knows for a certainty what either language sounded like. What we have are various theories by which some have given various sounds to ancient Hebrew and Koine Greek, and thus some may be able speak a contrived version of the biblical Hebrew, using sounds based on those theories. The sounds given, however, may or may not be the way ancient Hebrew actually was spoken. There is disagreement among the scholars as to the sounds originally attributed to some of the ancient Hebrew and Koine Greek characters. It appears that Rutherford's Pyramid Monument is being described as a very strange grave. Rutherford's Pyramid Monument, however, is not a grave, nor a tomb, nor a grave marker, etc. No one was buried in or under that pyramid monument. I do not consider the monument strange. I believe everything on or about that monument was in harmony with the Bible, except that it was possibly a rather extreme extravagance which surely cost a lot of money to construct, money which I consider could have been put to better use. The monument, however, was often vandalized, and the Watchtower Society often paid for repairs to the monument, until just recently. The monument was again vandalized so badly that it was deemed to be a danger to all who came to see it. Upon considering costs to repair the monument, the Watchtower Society decided it would be cheaper to remove it. However, there was definitely no one buried in or under that monument. Definitely, however, there was nothing in or on that monument that has had anything to do with what is often called the occult. The biblical cross and crown is not of the occult, not unless you also believe that the Bible itself is of the occult. There is no cross, however, on Russell's actual gravestone. The pyramid is not Russell's grave. That pyramid was constructed several years after Russell died, and it was not constructed over Russell's grave. See my resource page Great Pyramid on the website already mentioned. No court ever accused Brother Russell of perjury. J.J. Ross doctored the court testimony to make it appear that he lied in court, but the actual court record shows differently. My post on Ross perjury accusations was shown in the video. However, while I could not understand all that was being said, it appears as though what is actually stated did not actually examine the evidence presented. I recommend that one actually read and comprehend what is being said on my website. It is totally silly to think that there is a certain way to speak when calling a Christian, brother, that would mean that such has anything to do with the Masons. Russell, of course, was definitely not a member of, or in support of the Freemasons. Anyone truly familiar with his life's work would know this. Again, I have a resource page with links to my related research, Russell and the Freemasons. As best as I could determine, Rutherford's Pyramid Monument is referred to in the video as Russell's Gravestone. Rutherford's Pyramid Monument is not Russell's Gravestone. Again, I cannot understand what is being said about my resource page, Russell and the True Church. Sadly, None of the links were clicked on to actually examine the facts of what Russell taught about the true church. His own words show what and why he believed by scripture. The only church Russell believed in was that which Jesus created through his apostles. He believed that the true church consisted of consecrated Christians, irrespective of any denominational or sectarian ties. As best as I can determine, the video states that Russell created his own Bible. Russell did not at all create his own Bible. Russell, however, did reject the doctrine of man and endeavored to simply stay by the Bible itself. He did not create his own doctrines. He did present his conclusions based on what he found in the Bible. Russell, however, was not dogmatic about all of his applications of scriptures. Unlike the JW leadership, Russell assumed no authority over fellow believers. Bible students held various views on various scriptures. 
The same is still true with Bible students today. Russell, unlike the Jehovah's Witnesses, was definitely not sectarian. He did not preach an organization, a sect, or any kind of message that says, join us, or you will be eternally doomed. Russell did not teach the kind of shunning practiced by the Jehovah's Witnesses. Nevertheless, Russell did not limit the true church to any sect, denomination, etc. I could not understand what was said about the Mormons, but Russell, of course, did not believe in the Mormon sect. Unlike Joseph Smith, Russell did not claim to be a divinely inspired prophet. The prophecies that Russell believed in were those of the Bible and he believed that those prophecies are correct even if his conclusions about those prophecies may be in error. See the description area below this video for links to my various resources that provide more information and documentation of what I have stated in this video.